Welcome back, rankers. Um, first of all, I just tweeted on uh, on Twitter, as you do, um, that uh, I'm, I'm writing myself some some notes for the show this morning, and, uh, and I, I stick the sticky notes up on my on my uh, monitor here. And I just <laughs> I had to have a quiet smile to myself when I looked at the the sticky notes pad that that I was using. I don't know whether you can uh, probably a bit overexposed, but you can probably see the URL there. Uh, that's the company. I got that from the from excite.com.au's uh, launch uh, in Melbourne. Would have been 1999, I think. But that company, Excite, is the one that had the opportunity to buy Google for $1 million. So there you go. Bit of history for you. Um, taking questions from the floor again today on uh, on Twitter. And we've already had a bunch through this morning. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, we had questions during the week about... Um, you know, uh, embedded links and making sure you get your keywords in the links, very important. And uh, today I've, um, uh, variations on that theme. Uh, Darren uh, has has asked uh, how important are uh, friendly URLs for ranking user um, perspective. I think they're more important for ranking than they are users. I don't think users really care that much. And what Darren's talking about here, if you've got a, a website that um, whose content is dynamically generated, um, quite often, the URLs or the you know the web address themselves will say index you know dot php question mark ampersand blah 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 blah. Um, what Darren's talking about is turning those web addresses into your keywords. Like for instance, in my case, it would be stuartmedia.biz forward slash search hyphen um, engine hyphen optimization dot html. And in fact, every time I write a blog post. Um, our URLs will come out like that, and that's because we use a, a content management system called Joomla. Which brings me to Joomla Day uh, in Melbourne, uh, 2009. Uh, if you don't have a content management system yet and you're looking for one, uh, I can certainly highly recommend Joomla. It's one that we always use. It's open source, which it means the actual software itself is free, just not the implementation because you're going to have to get someone to build it for you. But if you want to find out all about it, it is on this weekend in Melbourne. Just go to Google and type in Joomla Day Melbourne and you'll find it. Um, and I'll be speaking there about SEO and talking about uh, how you can get the most out of Joomla for SEO. And there'll be, there'll be Joomla experts that know more than I do about the, uh, the latest components uh, for Joomla for SEO. So I'm looking forward to it as well, to learning a few things. Um, so that's the first question out of the way. Second question. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't finish Darren's question. Did I? Um, it's yes, it is very important to get your URL, your keywords in your URLs. Any time or any uh, opportunity that you have to um, get your keywords somewhere on the page or in your URLs or in your page titles or in your graphics or whatever else, as long as it's logical, then do it because you're telling the search engine something about the page and you're telling the humans also something about the page. Um, I've had a couple of questions this week also uh, about the Google Knoll. Um, now we've had one from New Knolls and um, also, oh, Darren again. A um, bit of a hog, Darren, this morning. Uh, but a Google Knoll is, they, they call it a Knoll, K N O L. It, uh, it's Google's term for a unit of knowledge. Um, and basically, Google Knoll is like a Wikipedia. Um, where people can come in and contribute articles and contribute to the uh, um, a, a, a large encyclopedia of, of knowledge, if you like. Um, we've used Google Knoll a couple of times just to see the effect. We haven't noticed any real effect on SEO. Um, probably over time, that will be a case. Will be the case, like it is with Wikipedia, of course. Um, but right now, yeah, there's a lot of other things you could be doing that are probably going to give you better bang for your buck than. Uh, writing an article for uh, Google Knoll. Uh, and who else have we got today? We've got uh, MS Philosophy here. And uh, she has asked, what do you think is more effective for higher Google rankings, SEO or great content? And uh, she said, I'd say content, and I'd like to know your opinion. Well, I agree, of course. Um, but having said that, we get a lot of uh, clients who um, really haven't updated their site for a while, uh, and we'll go and optimize the site. And depending on what industry they're in and what keywords they're targeting, you may not need to add any more content. That's not, of course, always the case. Um, the idea, what you're trying to do with SEO, 
is yes, of course, get ranked high in the search engines. But once people get to your site, you've got to have something for them to do. Uh, you've got to have good content. You've got to have relevant content relevant to their search. So the two go hand in hand. You've got to do the SEO on the site, but don't just build a giant site and hope like heck that it's going to rank. Um, you know, you should be, uh, I hear a lot of people say, go and get a blog, start a blog, that'll be great. It's like, yeah, it is great because you're getting involved in the community and everything else in the online community, you're embracing the technology, but it's a, it's a long-term strategy. Uh, we always tell people, get your SEO right first before you embark on any Web 2.0s or, or AdWords or any of these other things, because it's going to be something that keeps working for you, and it's a good discipline for your content producers to have, to know that, Okay, we've got to do a title here with our keywords in it. We've got to do a link with our keywords in it. Any other articles on the site that are related to the same thing, we've got to make sure we interlink them, like Wikipedia do. Um, uh, David uh, from uh, on Twitter this week uh, actually pointed that out. That's a really good analogy. Um, with your site, whenever you add content to it, have a look through it and see whether any of it is relevant to be linked to another part of your site. Um, and then make sure you link those appropriate words. And like Wikipedia does, when you go and look at a Wikipedia entry, you'll see uh, the words linked elsewhere and that sort of thing. So that's all we've got time for for the three questions today. I know there were a couple of others during the week, but I couldn't find them in my inbox because my inbox is um, uh, getting deluged these days. So if you do want to have questions uh, on the show, then please send them in via Twitter. And remember, you can Twitter me at Jimboot. And... Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you're, uh, you're online 7 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time uh, next Wednesday, and I'll ask for questions again. Thanks very much. See you next week. Bye.